We are able to control a car at the borders of stability and control it and drive it very precisely through different um, situations. My name is Werner Huber. I am uh, in charge of the research team for highly automated driving at BMW Research and Technology. So let's start then autonomous driving at its limit. Just push it into B, now start driving, it's still my car, but now I can hit button number one, so steering is now up to the car, the car steers on its own, pushing number two, and now accelerating and braking is up to the car. Now we are getting up some speed, still doing nothing. higher speed cornering and these curves we like hitting almost 1G and I'm still doing nothing at all. Well, what we understand um, about the term highly automated driving means that the car is taking over the complete driving task from the driver. That means the longitudinal control, the lateral control and the observation of the situation in the system is done by a roboter. The driver can use this time for other things. He's not any longer in the task of controlling the car, observing the car. But that means the robot has to take over everything and that is what we have to develop. We think that a highly automated car or an autonomous car will be ready for, for the people outside in 2020, 2022. Um, but beside that vision, it's very important for us how, to, uh, how is the way to uh, come up to an autonomous car and what steps um, do we have to develop for this realization of that uh, vision and we haven't hit any code. What we show today is um, one part that a highly automated car has to have inside. It's a vehicle control. Because it's very important to manage the vehicle dynamics, to cope with any non-critical or critical situation in the future. Um, but the function or parts of that technology can also be used in the next years for better driver assistance systems, for more safety. Back into pit. And that's it. That was driving autonomously on the racetrack and it's limited.